Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the latest smartphone in Motorola's mid-range G series of budget phones, the Moto G7. Now I know when you hear me say the term mid-range, you might roll your eyes because it's not a flagship and maybe it's not worth buying in your eyes. But there are three key things I want to point out about this great phone that may just change your mind. So first, it's cheap. True to Moto form, you know, this phone is sub $300. There are three models and all of them come in under 300 bucks. And the beauty of it is that it's unlocked for any carrier in the world. So you're not tied to any particular carrier, whether you live in the United States or in some other country. You know, most people, they're not really looking to spend a thousand dollars on a phone. That's a lot of money. Most people are looking for what works for their budget. And that's why this phone is a winner. The second thing is, it's got a great design for a budget phone. Probably one of the best out there. You know, Motorola has again combined a perfect mix of aesthetically pleasing design along with some key features, standard features, to produce another top selling smartphone. And while it's not gonna beat the, the iPhone XS or the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in any fluffy name that gimmick feature challenge, I would argue that when it comes to actual everyday usable features, this phone is second to none. And finally, when you compare the cost of usable features and again, overall functionality, this phone is a killer. And just like Motorola has done for a long time, this phone just works. It's got a clean, simple Android interface that's completely lag free. So for this unboxing, we're using the Moto G7 Plus, which is the premier model of the G7. This model's got a 6.2 inch full HD plus screen, boasting a 19 to nine aspect ratio and 403 PPI. It's got a 12 megapixel standard plus a five megapixel depth of perception camera, which comprises the dual mounted rear camera deck. It's built on the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 processor, that's octa-core. It's got 64 gigs of onboard storage and four gigs of RAM on board. Now the Moto G7, is, it has a 300 milliamp battery, which while it's not anything to really write home about, depending on your usage, it'll provide you with up to 48 hours of charge. And it also uses USB type C, albeit the 2.0 variety. As for connectivity, this phone works on all the major carriers in the United States and with most carriers internationally, including China and India. It also supports Bluetooth 4.2 and Wi-Fi AC connectivity for those high bandwidth applications and, and, and all of the HD um, gaming and movie streaming. Now, I will say this about this phone. First, it does not have NFC. Okay, don't scream. That may be a deal breaker for some, but for others, I'm willing to bet NFC is like Latin. They have absolutely no idea what it is. And that's really, really okay. Next, this phone has a notch. Yep, it's got a big old widow's peak. Can't miss it. And again, while it might be a deal breaker for some, for others, those more practical users, this is just another part of a nicely designed phone. They'll get over it. Okay, so with the intros out the way, let's get this phone unboxed and powered up. Just follow along and enjoy.